Last week on my channel, I proposed a seven day social media challenge video where I challenged you as well as myself to use social media more intelligently by using it as a producer rather than a consumer. If you want to watch the original video from last week, I'll leave the link up here and in the description below. However, this is now a week from that video. And we're going to open my phone up and I'm going to expose all the dirty secrets of how well I've been using my phone, what I've been using more, what I've been using less, and how more efficiently I've been do using my time. So firstly, let's start with the previous week from last week, which was between February 25th and March 3rd. What does my counter say from that week? Unfortunately, it says 37. I caught myself scrolling 37 times, which is way more than I thought that I would. And that's a little embarrassing to say because I thought for sure I was going to be nailing it with like a score of maybe 20. And then to get almost double my expectation is a little humiliating, but it's also kind of enlightening to see that I really haven't been keeping as serious as I thought I was going to, which is a real wake up call that I need to make sure that I am not scrolling. But let's also go over the total daily screen time. Now from February 25th to March 3rd, my daily screen time was nine hours and 37 minutes. Comparatively last week from the 3rd to the 10th, my screen time went down by 7% to eight hours and 34 minutes. This means that overall I spent 39 less minutes on my phone last week than I did the previous week. So that's good, that's amazing. I am so proud of myself for that. But if I just wanted to be keeping it there, that obviously doesn't tell you the full story. You know, like, what exactly do these metrics say? What have I been spending more time on to replace the time that I haven't been spending on social media? Well, let's go ahead and find out right now. Firstly, what you're going to notice is the absurd amount of time that I spend on YouTube. Now, I have an excuse for this, and this isn't a social media excuse, okay? At my work, my 9 to 5 job, my regular ass day job, I listen to YouTube in the background. I listen to podcasts, I listen to long form content, I listen to things that are like two hours or more long. So that way I can have background noise and so that way I'm educating myself and thinking of different video ideas while I'm working. So I'm not going to count YouTube as a social media thing because I almost exclusively use it while I'm at work and then when I get home, I'm focused on home activities. Okay, so YouTube is an exemption from this. I'm not counting YouTube as a social media app. However, what I want to highlight here is that from February 25th to March 3rd, I spent a total of 7 hours and 23 minutes on Discord. Okay, I don't even know why I was on for that long. That's over an hour a day. My only excuse for this is that there's a possibility that when I'm playing YouTube and I go in picture in picture mode on my phone, I'll open up Discord to look at messages or I'll have Discord open at the same time that YouTube is playing in my background. Now, I don't know if that's necessarily the case, but I can absolutely promise you I don't remember spending an hour a day on Discord every single day that previous week. I am sure that that has gotten better. Let's also focus on the next two, which are Facebook and Messenger. Yes, I am a boomer. Yes, I still use Facebook. Yet, no, I don't give a damn. I am not joining Instagram. I am not joining Twitter. I'm joining YouTube, but that's just to be like a creator, okay? I'm not like doing my personal life or anything. I'm not a family vlogger. So I spent a total of two hours and 10 minutes on Facebook last week for a daily average of 18 and a half minutes, which 18 and a half minutes from the 25th to the 3rd, that's not too terrible. I mean, obviously I could have done better. Then, I, then the third most spent time was Messenger, which I spent an hour and a half on, or roughly 12 minutes, 51 seconds a day. Again, 18 minutes on Facebook, 12 minutes on Messenger. That's roughly 32 minutes that I spent on my two out of my three social media apps. 
it could be worse. I could be spending that 32 minutes recording this video right now, for example. But clearly, because I was off my game that week, I had just proposed the challenge that week. So that week shows my usual consumption. Okay, so let's go over to this week, which is March 4th to March 10th, and let's see how much better we did. So last week, last week somehow I spent even more time on Discord. I don't have an excuse at this point. I am going to be totally transparent with you. I only have three Discord servers. Okay, and I only spend time in one of them. So I have two different options here. I can either just completely remove Discord, which I'm probably not going to do because I do have some good friends on there that I have for other YouTube connections. Or I can leave the server that I am normally on, or I could just tell myself not to be on it that much. No, you know what? Yeah, I am pussyfooting around. I am going to dedicate myself to this. I am going to exclusively use Discord for the friends that I have in that server, because I don't know 95% of people in that server. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, like, add friend, the people that I regularly stay in contact with on there, and I'm going to quit all three of those servers, and I'm just going to use Discord exclusively for people that I know online. I'm not going to have any servers, I'm not going to have any motivation to go on there, except for the people that I regularly talk to on that server. I'm going to hold myself to it. I'm going to have you hold me accountable to that too. That's going to reduce my usage on Discord by a hell of a lot. Next was Facebook. <laughs> Which, again, I somehow spent more time on Facebook last week than I did the previous week. Oh, dude. Dude, dude, dude. Oh. I have no words. I am shameful. I failed my own challenge. Essentially, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say this right now. I have failed my own challenge. I somehow, with the intent of spending less time on social media, I have somehow spent more time on social media. I don't understand how this happened. I, I, I truly, truly, truly do not understand. I'm even going to put these side by side, okay? How does it go? from 64 hours down to 60 hours. How do I lose four hours of screen time and yet I spent more time on social media apps? It doesn't make any sense to me. If somebody can explain this to me in the comments, please do because I am so confused on how I went from 64 to 60 hours. So I had a net loss of four hours and yet overall I spent more time last week than I did the previous week. If somebody could explain that to me, please, because I really, really, really don't understand how things went so awry here. Now, I could bitch out, and I could not post this video, but this is a very, very, very important lesson for me. It's an important lesson for me because this is a really big ego death. I was so confident in my capability to spend less time idling with distractions that I ended up pseudo reverse psychologying myself. I don't even know if that's a term into using it more. So I really, really, really need to force my hand down and I need to keep it away from these things. I don't think we realize just how addicted we are to these apps. I certainly thought that I wasn't that addicted, but clearly the stats said otherwise. I am absolutely hurt by my own performance, and I give my word that I am absolutely going to do better this week. So I'm going to post a video next week showing my results. And on top of that, I'm not even just going to do it for one week and say, yep, I did it for one week, guys. I am officially cured. I think what I can do is I'm going to make this a weekly series. I'm going to make it a weekly series to see what my usual trends are. I might even have like somebody help me out with helping me kind of like do topographical data, see how much time I'm spending on where and what and what I'm doing with it. And I think it would be a really, really cool idea to kind of hold myself accountable to try and help any of you guys out 
to try and help you out. So that way, if you're trying to use social media less, or you're trying to spend less time on your phone, then you can learn something from this. I can give you like ideas or hints or something. I, I think this could be a good idea for a weekly series. This is like my first official weekly series of me not just posting random long distance stuff. I really think that this can work. So if you're interested in actually seeing this become a regular series, because I'm intent on doing it at least for another month. I'm not going to bitch out and do it for a week. I'm going to try and dedicate at least another month to my 30th birthday. I think at my 30th birthday, I'll see how well I did over the last few weeks, and then we'll go from there. But if you are interested in that, leave a comment below. Give this video a like or a dislike. Subscribe to my channel so you can see where I go in the future. Take care of yourself, and I will see you in the next screen time update. <laughs> I'm so excited for that, bro. That's going to be so freaking awesome. And then at the same time, humiliating. I can't wait.